it's Charlotte here, back from my share. The reading rush has started. I actually worked today, so I have not been able to read that much, or I haven't had like a entire day focused on reading. But what I've done is I kept reading between like in breaks and during lunch. I have currently read 25% of Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. And I'm really, really enjoying it, actually. Right from the first chapter, honestly. The first chapter was so good and so interesting. It just went straight to the story. And then in the next couple of chapters, we have learned more about the main characters. And I'm really enjoying this one. And I just finished, uh, like, part one of the book. And that ending was like, oh no, don't do me like this. I don't know where the story will take us from here. Because basically... What's in the synopsis, I guess, is the first chapter, which I read. So what's going to happen for the next 20-something chapters? I have no clue. So I'm going to continue reading that, although I might start... I don't know, I said that Illuminate would be my first read, but since I work today, I didn't bring a physical copy, so I just read on my phone. So I still want to get to Illuminate, but like, such a fun age is so good, so we'll see. Quickly also, I just wanted to share one of my favorite channels that I started following this spring. It was a great way to procrastinate while I was working on my master thesis. It's Cracking the Cryptic and basically there is just two men solving sudokus and puzzles and it's amazing. And I have not watched one of their videos in a while, but I binged them in May. Just a recommendation, if you enjoy puzzles, great, great <laughs> channel. I'm seven chapters in on such a fun age and <clears throat> I liked it so much. I did not expect this at all. This was probably the book that I was the least excited about out of my TBR pile for the reading rush. But yeah, I really, really, really like it. But I have no idea where it's heading. And I'm like, mm, I'm conflicted because on one side it's such a page turner. I just want to continue to read it and I want to know what happens and how things develop. But on the other side, I also want to savor it. Like, I want to enjoy it. And, like, read it slowly. And I don't know. I did not expect it, uh, this at all. And it's super weird. Perhaps savoring a book is not the best way to go uh, for a readathon. But, mm, yes. <laughs> but I will probably drag this reading out. I might read this book in maybe two or three days instead of just one day just because I'm enjoying it so 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 much Hello So I'm currently 32% through such a fun age I'm still loving it uh, but I decided to pause that one because I think it would be good for me to have an ebook to read when I'm out and about and because the rest of my books are physical copies I'll try to save such a fun age for moments when I need a new book. So that means that now, before going to bed, I will read Illuminate. I picked some good books for this week. Yeah. So, time to start this thick guy. Let's see if I actually understand anything. Sup, guys? So, last night, when I left off, I started reading Illuminate and I'm exactly 100 pages in. I read 100 pages last night. It's not too difficult to read through this one since a lot of the pages are like chat logs or journal entries or documents or like some pages were just filled with names and others with photos or sketches. I did not expect this book to be so funny. It's hilarious. The first couple of interviews in the beginning so 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 funny. I kept like doing this like thing throughout reading it. Uh, so yeah, so far I really like this one as well. I'm having a like I'm having a good readathon. The books I've chosen for this readathon, I've had a lot of luck. I mean like I'm having a great readathon with these books so far. I'm very curious where th th things will lead with this. And I'm also curious just like how the, they will mix it up with the like what type of documentations they will use. 
because now in the beginning it's a lot of interviews like security reports documentations chat logs but as you can see perhaps as we progress the pages will get darker and darker like there will be more black pages so i wonder what that's about and when i've like just flipped through it i've noticed some really more like aesthetic pages i guess so i'm just cu curious about those uh, but yeah good read so far so I counted that yesterday I read a total of 198 pages. It's hard to tell with such a fun age since I'm reading it as an ebook. So that doesn't necessarily correctly represent a good number of pages, I guess. But I did some calculations with the percentage and such. So yeah, approximately 200 pages. And today I've gone back to reading such a fun age. I read it throughout work, like in my breaks and such. A thing I realized or noticed is that this one, it doesn't really have a plot. It's really just about the characters, or if, if it has a plot, I wouldn't be too sure what it is. Which is kind of the thing, like, you don't know where things are gonna lead, which I enjoy. And as I said, I do like the characters and I like reading from their different perspectives. And I noticed that when I'm reading from, for example, Emira's perspective, and she does something, I'm curious, like, ooh, what does Alex think of this? So I'm excited to get to Alex's perspective and read about her opinion, and then vice versa. I'm almost finished with the third part of the book. Basically, only have a third left of it, or even less, maybe. I don't think this would be everyone's cup of tea, since it's not that plot-driven. It's mostly, it's mostly character-driven. I saw in one of the Reading Rush forums that someone complained about there being too many details in the book. And not details in like entire pages where they where the author is describing a setting, but it's more like details like, oh she moved the salt shaker, oh she put this on her food. But I don't find that annoying. Um, it's so little. It's like just it's just an add-on to the sentence, so it doesn't really bother me. But if you're someone that's bothered by that, that maybe this book would, wouldn't be for you. I very much prefer character-driven books, or those are the ones I just tend to like m so much more. So I don't mind this being character-driven, but I completely understand if people might have difficulties finding the actual plot of this or trying to find like a greater concept in it or something. I'm just enjoying the perspectives, honestly. So my original plan was that I would do a week-long vlog of this readathon, but then I started editing already from the, the the clips that I made yesterday and today and I started playing around with effects and I learned some things and I'm just so excited so I wanted to post this vlog now I decided that uh, I will do multiple vlogs throughout the week I only worked yesterday and today I have other plans for the rest of the week so it does make sense to kind of split the vlog like this at least because the types of days are just very different so yeah see you in more vlogs soon I guess you gotta just go for it don't think about what comes after or what came before